In 20 seconds, we'll start trading this Monday morning. Big drop for the Dow and all the other indicators on Friday. But the indications are this morning that we'll bounce back a little. Who's with me on an historic Monday? Ashley Webster, Elizabeth McDonald, David Barnson, and Jeff Seeker. All right, Jeff. But we're up 200 points because maybe trade fears are easing yes. a little bit. Okay. Yes. David Barnson, uh, what are you laughing at? Why are we up 200 points? <laughs> well, uh, why were we down 500 Friday and up 600 Wednesday and down yeah. five, 700 Tuesday? And it's, it's five, six, seven days in a row. 200 yeah. right now, this is like boring. Nothing. Yeah, so it's, there's, no, there's no single big reason why of we're not. off and running there's again. Noise, 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 noise. The, the, the train stuff's okay. going to continue. There's always one tweet away from another That's jump right. up or down. Uh, I look, I'm going to get an Amazon stock is going above 1422. Mm. Yeah, yes, yeah, it, is. Yeah, it yeah. is. Amazon stock goes above 1422. Well, it is right now. Oh, well, well, you know what I mean. No, I mean, it, it's not something that we would want to touch for no other reason than at these multiples. All these conversations we're having are disruptive to the valuation. A repricing is in order. And regardless of how they work those things out, I'm of the mindset they will. I'm totally pro Amazon in terms of this discussion they're having with the president. But with this kind of extraordinary valuation, all you can do is wait for it to get to a more reasonable place to price. Okay. Uh, 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 start out the whole profit uh, reporting uh, program. That's on Friday. David, I'm, I'm told we're going to get profit increases of 15, 17, maybe 20% compared to this time last year. Yeah. That's huge. That's S&P and, and the big cap. I yes. think you could get 20, 25% in some of the small cap names. Well, isn't that good enough for a nice rally? It should be. I think the only caveat is it may be selective. There may be certain names, certain sectors that don't benefit as much as others. But absolutely, I believe that this is the time to really test how much stocks had already priced in the benefits of tax reform. Are we playing the expectations game? You know, I, yes. I really don't like yeah. that. You don't like oh, it. Oh, yeah. no, we're game. expecting this, we're yes. expecting that. I'm not sure I trust that. Well, but profits are going to be up big time. Depends yeah, but here's what I, what I have to say about that. There's a, there's a certain amount of irrelevance in the fact that profits will be up. And the irrelevance comes from the fact that there is this potential trade war and there is the, the high likelihood we're going to get a serious number of interest rate increases. So to me, mm. we will see good earnings. Nope. I don't doubt nope. that. But I think the projections going forward are going to be a lot more cautious. These uh, stocks are priced to perfection. Go. I would word it differently. I wouldn't say it's irrelevant. I would just say it's the whole nature of the tug of war. The benefits of the, of the tax cuts and growing earnings are a big deal. So is the fears around the trade war. Those two forces are creating the tension and the volatility. Well, keeping us right. in a range. So That's viewers right. yeah. don't sell says David. Oh, no, do not sell. No. Absolutely not. Viewers don't maybe think about selling, says Jeff Seiko. <laughs> yeah, especially since the average investor has way too much allocated towards stocks, especially the big five. Now you have Amazon and Facebook really getting hit by what's going on. I would say if you're allocated too heavily in stocks, now's the time to take your profits, and you'll be okay with Do some what? cash. Sit on and, cash move, and, and move into emerging markets. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> no, I'm saying sit with, sit, cash. sit with cash. It, sit, we have a market that's up 200 percent. You yeah. really it's know okay. how to catch falling knives and escape them? And no, I don't. Catch no, I don't. But what I do know you is... You time is, it? You're good at timing it? No, I'm not. I mean, you know I'm not. <laughs> the bottom line is that people are too heavily allocated in stocks, mm -hmm. and if they're too heavily allocated in stocks, they have to look at their Honestly, portfolios. Jeff, we don't see that in the flows. I mean, it, it may be true. I think they're too heavily allocated in FANG, too heavily allocated in big tech, but overall stock allocations, I think, are modest. I would just like to see more weighting into value, less into growth. Okay, okay. Uh, with difference of opinion, and you're out of time. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Seeker, David Bonson, both of you gentlemen, yeah. thank you very much for joining thank us. You. Much obliged to you.